El Ejido, Almeria province, southern Spain. Greenhouses everywhere. A sea of plastic stretching as far as the horizon. These greenhouses supply Europe with vegetables during the winter season. But just recently, something amazing has been happening here. Thousands of growers have switched from applying only chemicals to a combination with biological pest control. The key strategy is to use beneficial organisms to combat pests, like this predatory mite sucking out a spider mite. Greenhouses are well suited for the application of beneficials. Summer and winter, day and night, there is an ideal humid climate. Apart from tomatoes, cucumbers and aubergines, peppers are also a very popular vegetable. Indeed, they are the most commonly grown vegetable types to be found beneath the plastic roofs of southern Spain. The introduction of beneficials has to be timely. With the help from a BioLine consultant, the producer, José Fernández, inspects his crop regularly. He is very happy with this method. The main reason for me personally is health. Everything stays natural, the way it should be. Among the most common pests in the greenhouses are spider mites. Infestation is normally rapid and uncontainable. They puncture the cells with their mandibles, suck out the juice and damage the plant. In the worst case, the plant dies. The predatory mite Amblyseus andersoni ensures that these pests are kept in check. It hunts them down, punctures them and sucks them out. Producer Antonia Zamora gives a concise account of the main advantages of this containment method. No ill effects for the grower, it's healthy for the consumer and it's effective. And once it takes effect, it works around the clock, 24 hours, day and night. In countries such as Switzerland, Germany and Holland, biological pest control has been used for some time. And not just for vegetables, but also for growing ornamentals in glasshouses. In recent years, in Holland, large-scale greenhouses have become increasingly common. Modern technologies create the optimum climate for growth. Ideal for the proliferation of pests, but just as ideal for biological pest control. Here too, regular inspections of the flowers is a prerequisite for effective measures. If the grower wishes it, BioLine advisors give their support. They help him make the correct diagnosis and choose the appropriate treatment method. Experience is essential. Pests and beneficial insects are so small in the case of mites that one needs a magnifying glass to recognize them and tell them apart. The first sign of infestation are yellowing leaves. A closer look at the tiny crawling creatures often reveals them to be spider mites. Many chemical products are barely effective nowadays because the pests have become resistant. But by introducing the predatory mite Amblyseus andersoni, the grower does have an effective alternative. The beneficials are contained in a Gemini sachet, a new development from BioLine. The brownish, bran-based compound contains predatory mites and other mites they feed on. Thus, the predatory mites can multiply after they have been deployed in the greenhouse. As a result, they are effective over a sustained period. The grower has already applied beneficials against a different type of pest, 
Now he needs to ensure that these beneficial organisms aren't adversely affected. Another reason why using chemicals is not an option. The Gemini sachet isn't affected by rain. Water is simply dispelled without damaging the content. That's why this method is also suitable for use on open land. Using the predatory mite Amblyseus andersoni has several advantages. The beneficial organism does not only keep the spider mite at bay, employees have less contact with pesticides, and the consumer needn't worry about having chemical residues in his home. The Morcia region in southern Spain has had some remarkable successes in the field of grape production. The entire process takes place without resorting to chemical agents. When it comes to fresh fruit produce especially, traders and consumers demand that it be free of chemical residues. Here, simply by utilizing a variety of natural control techniques, spider mites, russet mites and caterpillars have been kept in check. An important element in this strategy is the use of Amblyseus andersoni. Traders and consumers have a right to demand healthy foodstuffs that are produced in an environmentally sustainable way and that are free of pesticide residues. Biological pest control enables growers to advance towards this goal, not least to their own benefit.